I'm now going to showcase a scenario where we'll need to create a new message body writer. I'll have a copy of the JaxRS project one, I've called it JaxRS5. I'm going to open the resource here. Now I'm just returning text here, I'm returning a string. Now what if I want to return a date, right? So let's say I have uh, the return type as a date here. I'm going to return the current date. So I'm going to do a dot get instance dot get time which gives me the current date okay I'm gonna import date from java.util now I want this API to return the current date and since I'm doing a produces of media type dot explain I want Jack Saris to convert this date to plain text and send it back let's run and see what happens So I'm going to access the same URL, web API slash test. Now you see there's an HTTP status 500, internal server error. Now if you look at the console log, you see the severe error message which says message body writer not found for the media type text plane and for the date, java.util.date. Okay, so what's happening here is you're asking JaxRS, you're asking Jersey to convert from date to plain text. And turns out Jersey doesn't know how to do it. Remember in our previous course, we sent back objects of different kinds from our resource classes and we converted it to JSON and we converted it to XML. That was because there were message body writers in the class path which knew how to convert any object into JSON or XML. In this case, there is no such converter to convert from date to text plane. Now what we can do is we can add a message body writer. Since it's not able to find it, we can create our own custom message body writers, which lets us take an instance of date and let us convert it to text and return it back. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna create a new class here. New class, I'm gonna call this date message body writer. Every message body writer that you write has to implement the message body writer interface. Now this is a generic interface which takes in the type. We are writing a message body writer which converts a date type. So I'm going to give the generic type date here. Now since I'm implementing this, I mean import this. Since I'm implementing this, I need to implement a few methods. If I say add unimplemented methods, you see here there are three different methods that I need to implement. The first method is called get size. This is currently deprecated. We don't have to implement this method. The recommended best practice is to return minus one here. So this was used in JAXRS 1.0, but with 2.0, this method is deprecated. You have to use it because it's a uh, part of the interface. You have to implement it but the recommended best practice is to just return minus one and just forget about this method. Now, here are the two methods that we should be concerned with. One is, is writable. The second thing is write to. Is writable is an implementation that you write to let Jersey know if a certain type is something that this writer can handle. This model is very similar to the param converter providers that we've seen earlier. First of all, this is a provider, right? Let me annotate this with at provider. All right, so this has a very similar model. So what's gonna happen is there are a bunch of providers which are message body writers in your class path, right? Now when JAXRS or Jersey detects that it needs to convert some return type, because it looks at all the resources, right? If it finds some data type that it needs to convert, it's going to look at all the providers which happen to be message body writers and it's going to ask them all, hey provider, given an instance of this type, can you write to the output stream? Can you return this in the HTTP response? So that's this method, okay? So every, every message body writer is polled with this method and saying, oh, hey, can you write this? So this method is called for a given type. Now the first argument 
is that type. So if we are trying to convert a date, now we have a date here, right? So what it does is it sends this type to the is writable method of this writer and say, given this type, can you write to the output? So what we need to do is we need to see if the type that the Jaxara sends us is a date because this writer is only for date. If it is a date, we can say, yes, I can write to this and return true. If it's not a date, we have to return false so that Jaxars can continue to ask other message body writers in the class path. So I'm gonna check here if type happens to be a date. And I do that by this piece of code. I'm gonna do a date dot class that is assignable from the type that's passed. Okay, so if the type that's passed is a date, then this returns true. If it's not a date, it returns false. We can also do the name check that we did in a previous tutorial, but uh, yeah, for now this should do. Okay, so this is, is writable. Now when Jaxeras asks this message body writer, hey, can you write a date type? Then is writable is gonna say, yes, I can, it returns true. Now next, when there is an API call and a date is returned and Jaxeras has to write that date instance to the output, it knows this is the writer it needs to call. So it's gonna call the write to method. Now the write to method has a lot of arguments which, ha which don't have proper names here. So I'm gonna just copy the names of the arguments from the Java doc. All right, so here are all the arguments. The first argument is the date, right? Because we can accept a date instance to write. There are a few more arguments. One is the type, the actual type. You have annotations, you have the media type that's that you're supposed to return. So depending on the media type, you can return different things. And there's the output stream here, which is where you need to write the output to, right? So this output stream is what gets sent over as the HTTP response. So you have actual control over the stream itself. You can write whatever you want here. What this method needs to do is get this date instance and write that to the output stream. You can convert it to a string or whatever and you just write it to the output stream. So for now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do a date dot to string and I'm gonna write date dot to string. So I'm gonna do a out dot, there must be a write. Okay, so the write accepts a byte array. So I'm gonna convert the string into a byte array. And that's it. Now I'm writing to the output stream a string version of the date. And that's all we have to do. We just have to have some way of taking this instance and writing it to the output stream. So I just choose to do a to string and write that. One final thing we have to do is annotate what are the media types that this can handle. Now notice here I'm returning media type dot text plane. Now you could potentially have multiple message body writers for different media types. I'm gonna use this message body writer for text alone. So I'm gonna annotate this with at producers media type dot text plane. And I'm gonna import the producers annotation. So what this lets Jersey know is this message body writer needs to be used when Jersey needs to send back text plane. So you could potentially have another message body writer that is returning uh, JSON or XML or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna save this and uh, let's run this project. I'm gonna make the same call again to get the date. And uh, hopefully it doesn't say uh, no message body writer found because it should be able to find this message body writer and do the conversion. All right, so I'm gonna do a web API slash test again. And notice we get the date dot to string return in the response, right? So what's happening is Jack Sarah says, okay, I've got a date that I need to convert to text plane. So it's gonna look at the class path for message body writers that can do that conversion, it finds the date message body writer because it has called the is writable and it knows that date can be converted. We have written true. So it knows that this is the guy for the job. Now when it actually has to do the writing, it calls the is writable and it passes, sorry, it uh, it calls the write to method and it passes in all these arguments. And we are just writing the to string, which is how this to string ends up 
on the response. So this is how you create message body writers. I'm not gonna demonstrate message body readers, but that's very similar. You have to create your own class, which implements message body reader, which is another interface. And uh, I think it has a read from, and it passes in the string and you convert it to the instance, the other way around, right? I encourage you to look up the Java docs, but the concept is very similar. If you know this, you should be comfortable writing message body readers as well. So I hope this was helpful. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to create your own media types. See you then.